Hey everyone, and welcome back to Bite Size Booksmith. My name is Angie, and here on this channel, we explore AI assisted writing tools, creative prompts, and author marketing strategies. Today, we're kicking off an exciting new series on how to use Novel Crafter for crafting short stories. Whether you're new to our community or a returning viewer, this series is perfect for anyone looking to enhance their writing with AI. Don't forget to check the video description below for a link to the Notion document from this video. You'll also find timestamps to easily navigate the section of the video that you're most interested in. Without further ado, let's get started. Okay, folks, we've got a short video today. I just want to go over some key concepts and also prompting for setting up Novel Crafter to write short stories. If you aren't already signed up for Novel Crafter, go ahead, you can click one of these links. These are affiliate links, and I will get a small commission if you do choose to sign up for Novel Crafter, or you can just go to novelcrafter.com, and there is a 14-day uh, trial for all pricing plans. So why do we actually write short stories? And why do I recommend that you guys write short stories? For me, it's a quick win. It allows you to quickly finish something. And as someone who has a history of not completing projects, it's a big boost in confidence and it helps you not only build motivation, but build momentum. And that momentum will allow you to continue and to keep writing. Also, it allows you to experiment. So maybe you want to try a different genre, maybe a different style. Maybe you want to write for a different audience. Writing a shorter story means you have less commitment and you can stretch those muscles of your creativity. For flexibility, if you are like me and you have a full-time job, it's much easier to add in writing a short story than it is to try to keep hammering on a longer story. It's easy to get disheartened if you're not making a lot of progress. Also, it's a great tool for you to learn how to use AI-assisted writing tools like Novacrafter. I actually recommend when talking to someone who hasn't used any kind of AI assisted writing software before that they start with short stories or they start with a project that isn't near and dear to their heart. Because if you're sitting there trying to figure out how it works and the output isn't exactly what you have dreamed of, then it can be hard to wrap your head around that. And you're either going to end up getting really frustrated or you're going to end up quitting. And so that's why I like to use short stories as a way to learn and to develop your workflow, uh, especially if you are new to AI. Short stories are a great way for you to build an audience and connect with your existing audience between longer books. So you can use it to give something to your newsletter. You can post it on your blog. Or if you are new to publishing and you want to learn how the publishing process works, you can actually bundle a bunch of short stories together and make an anthology and put it up for sale on Amazon. If you're starting a new pen name, this can also be a great way for you to dip your toe in and see if people are interested in what you might want to publish under this new name. And last but certainly not least, writing short stories is fun. It's a great way for you to be able to just try things out, throw stuff against the wall, see what sticks, and just have a good time. If you're trying to de-stress from a different project that you're working on, short stories are a great way to let your brain relax and think up something new. Okay, so let's go in and look at how we customize Novel Crafter to be able to prompt for short stories. So if we are in looking at the prompts for continuing the story, by default, it takes into consideration everything in the file. So if we're doing a short story and we're actually putting more than one short story in a book file, we don't necessarily want it to go and look at everything because then we've got it looking at other stories. So we want to organize and contain those stories in one of two ways. So we have the ability to have a short story as either a chapter or we can have a short story as an act. So let me show you what that looks like. We're going to pop in here to the Cosmic Insurgents just because I already have some stuff set up. 
And what we want to do is we want to look at plan. So we have the ability to add acts. We have the ability underneath an act to add chapters. So then individually, each chapter can have multiple scenes. If you're writing a rather short story where you're probably not going to be changing the point of view, it's going to be rather simple. You can actually do that from the chapter level. So then you would have chapter one would be story one, chapter two would be story two, and so on and so forth. Now, if you want to do it from acts, then an act one would be story one. And then you can actually have the individual chapters or the scenes, just use chapter one and then use the various scenes to be able to change your point of view and whatnot. And then to add an extra act, then this act two could be story two, and then so on and so forth. So for us to be able to use these, we actually have to make a change in our prompts. So the default prompt has to be changed because normally it says the context of the story so far, and that goes back all the way to the previous chapters and previous acts and takes that into consideration when it creates new words for your prompt. If you're going to be doing a story as a chapter, then you need to do chapter so far. And you can actually come in here and you can copy this. And I'll actually show you how we put that into Novelcraft here in a second. And then if we do a short story as an act, then we're going to replace that story so far here with act so far. So let me go ahead and copy this and we'll head back over to Novel Crafter and we will come down here to prompts and we're actually going to be working on the scene beat completion prompts. So we'll come here to general purpose and we will clone it. And then the change that we need to make, actually, let's change the name real quick. Okay, this is going to be general purpose short story chapter. I'll come here to the instructions. Okay. And this is where we need to make that change. We need to put the story so far and it's going to say now chapter so far. And that's where we make that one change. Now, if you wanted to do a not safe for work version, then you would just come up here and you would click the button. And then this prohibits you from using ChatGPT, Claude, and any other filtered LLM. So you don't end up getting yourself in trouble. Okay, so we'll go back to the general purpose and we're going to clone it again. And we're going to call this one general purpose, short story. And this one is going to be act. And so I will come up here. I will grab this information here. So just this right here. And then I will select everything in this section here. And now I've got act so far. And these are the only changes you need to make. Do you need to have both of these? You definitely don't need to have both of these. If you decide you want to do it by chapter, you only need to add the by chapter. If you wish to use the act structure, then just add the one for the acts. Whichever way that you want to work, go ahead and add that one to your scene beat completion. One last thing that I wanted to talk to you about is codex tips for short stories. So if you want to keep your codex entries organized while you're working in a book that has multiple short stories in it, here is an idea. So if you're here, in the codex, you can come over here to the gear icon and come down to custom categories. You're going to come over here and hit the new button. And then we'll just call this story one. So I'm going to assign story one this green color. And I'm going to give it an associated tag of story one. So now anything that's in the characters, the locations, the objects, lore, subplots, or others that's associated with story one, as long as I add this tag story one, not only will it be colored green, but it'll also all be in the same area. 
So what that looks like is if I were to come here and hit tags, story one. Now this is green and this section here now changes to story one. I'm actually going to delete this though because this is a different project, but I just wanted to show you what that looks like when you go in there and make those changes. Last thing I wanted to mention, if you use the workshop chat, I want to caution you from using this at least until I have a chance to spend a little bit more time coming up with some alternate prompts for these. But these prompts actually pull in series information. It also pulls in information from the novel outline. So that's the entire outline. The entire outline is going to have, if you're working on multiple stories, it's going to have multiple stories included. So I would caution you from using workshop chat just yet until I figure out, again, a different prompt to put in here to make sure that you're only pulling the information that you need for your specific short story. In the next video, we're going to be talking about how to come up with ideas for your short stories. We're going to use a couple of different sources like images. We're also going to look at a couple of different books you can use to come up with ideas. So whether you want to use AI or not to come up with your story ideas, I've got stuff for both. Okay. I think that's all for today. You guys have an amazing day and we'll talk to you next time.